Good morning, Becky. Thank you. Yeah, that interview with Newmont Mining CEO Gary Goldberg wrapping up just a couple of minutes ago. Of course, one big criticism of the Barrick offer was that there was zero premium. You heard him address that on Newmont stock. So I asked Goldberg if he is against a deal or simply against a deal at no premium. We see the best thing for our shareholders is to continue with the Gold Corp transaction. We've identified $4.4 billion of value towards our shareholders there. And the best thing for us to do with Barrick is to work together on a joint venture in Nevada. This is what we put on the table yesterday in terms of terms that make sense uh, to bring our Nevada-related assets all under one approach to be able to deliver what they've put forward for synergies. We believe there are synergies there. So Barrick wants to buy all of Newmont and take those Nevada assets. What Goldberg is talking about is the idea that it, instead of a Barrick buyout of the company, the two should simply combine their mining operations in Nevada. They operate mines that are fairly close to each other in the northern part of the state. But Barrick has said that a joint venture may not work because a combined operator needs a, quote, one owner mentality to succeed. So I asked Goldberg about that. I think what we put forward yesterday to Barrick was a, a proposal that we believe is very reasonable and, and addresses that concern in terms of the person with the, the largest economic interest ends up really taking a majority of the day-to-day -day type decisions and running the place. Well, it seems like Barrick may be having a bit of a change of heart about that joint venture because the CEO, Mark Bristow, as you, you guys interviewed him last week there, is now apparently willing to talk about a JV, he still wants to do a deal. But in both companies' presentations, the shareholders seem to be getting a little bit testy. So I asked Goldberg if this was personal in any way with Barrick's CEO. At the end of the day, uh, we, we had been in an email communication up through, say, before he took on the, the Barrick job on January 1st up till the end of January. It went quiet then until I, I saw him at the BMO conference last week. I shook his hand as he was coming on stage and said, we need to talk. And he's reached out and uh, would like to, to start a discussion. So guys, they are talking. I mean, listen, crazy times in mining. Barrick buys Rand Gold. Newmont's trying to buy Gold Corp. And now Barrick wants to buy Newmont. However this ends up, who could have thought that the world of gold, literally digging in metal out of the ground, could be a vein of riches for investment bankers and deal attorneys. <laughs> Excellent point. What, what, what's your takeaway, Brian, after talking to all of them and trying to figure out what really is behind this? If you think I, they have a joint venture actually works or, you know, when there's a combination, somebody always loses their job, too. Yeah, yeah. And they want to do away with Newmont's headquarters in Greenwood Village outside of Denver in Colorado. Barrick does. The full interview will be up on CBC.com, guys. But you have to ask yourself. This is kind of an old industry. It's expensive. A lot of the stuff's in dangerous areas. Hmm. Why all of a sudden are we seeing this flurry of deal making? I mean, is it the fact that they just don't see new production coming or is it they realize the price of gold is likely not going to go up anytime soon and therefore the only way to win is to cut costs?